Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 3a of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page number 72 and the question I'm going to do is number 9. It states a particle is projected with speed 35 meters per second at an angle theta, where theta is three, tan theta is 3 quarters, to the horizontal plane from which it's fired. Write its initial velocity in the form ai hat plus bj hat and find its speed when it is 10 meters off the ground. So of course things to note here are the gravity, the xy plane and the unit vectors as normal. The next thing is to sketch the motion. So we have velocity measured in meters per second and time measured in seconds. We have our initial velocity vector here. So u, u is equal to u sub x i hat plus u sub y j hat. Like that. Of course it's a resultant vector, so we need to resolve it into its two component unit vectors like this. This is u sub y and this is u sub x. Get rid of this just for clarity. And I call it, I'm going to call this angle here theta. So we're given in the question that tan, tan excuse me, theta is equal to 3 quarters. So just over in the corner here if we draw theta. So tan is opposite over adjacent. So if you use Pythagoras on this, so it's square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, you're going to get 5. So that means that tan is equal to 3 quarters, sine is equal to uh, 3 fifths, and cosine is equal to 4 fifths, like so. How does that help us? Well, we know, of course, that u is equal to 35. So let's resolve these as normal. So that's going to be u times sine theta. And this is going to be u cos theta. So that's going to be equal to, so let's say, 35 times cos theta, which is 4 fifths. And that's going to be equal to, uh, excuse me, uh, 7 times 4, that's 28. And this one is going to be equal to 35 times the sine, which is 3 fifths, equal to 21. So as a result, u is equal to 28i hat plus 21j hat. So let's just check that. Yes, and that is correct. That was pretty straightforward. Next, we're asked to find the speed when, the, when it is 10 meters off the ground, correct the two decimal places. So for that, we're going to need uh, u vast. Alright, so just bear with me now. See so the initial velocity we found there was it, let me think now, what did I have? 28 and 21. This is g, and this is 0, this is t, and so is this as normal. That's 28, you can't really see, can you? Now, so let's just fill in the piece of information that we know. This is 28 because v is equal to u plus at, and this is 28 times t. This is 21 plus gt, and this one here is 21t plus a half gt squared. Yeah, you can see that, that's okay. So we're asked to find the speed when it is 10 meters off the ground. So it's 10 meters off the ground, so s sub y is equal to 10. So we'll say s sub y is equal to 21 t times t, or 21 t to the 1, that's of course just equal to t, minus 4.9 t squared, and that's equal to 10 times t to the naught. Remember, something to the naught is equal to 1, so that just doesn't matter there. Just rearrange it so I get the square positive, so it's 4.9t squared minus 21t to the 1 plus 10t to the naught is equal to naught. Now remember, a polynomial is something where you have powers, so in this case we have 0, 1 and 2. The highest power of course is 2. So the order or the, the, the degree of this is 2 and we call a polynomial of degree 2 a quadratic. In order to solve that, you use the formula minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, excuse me, over 2a, where in this case uh, a is equal to plus 4.9, 
B is equal to minus 21 and C is equal to plus 10. So let's just do that again. So we get minus times minus 21 plus or minus something over 4 or 2 times 4.9 which is uh, excuse me 9.81. So I'm going to do that square root straight out like I always do. So it's b squared which is minus 21 to be squared minus 4 times 4.9 times plus 10 that gives us a positive number which we square root and get an answer of 15.65 so I was going to call that 16 so of course this is going to give us two positive numbers which is what we want so the first one is going to be 21 plus 16 Next is going to be 21 minus 16 over 9.8. So this is 3.7. And then 21 minus 16 divided by 9.81. Uh, 0 0.5. Are they correct? 3.7, yes, both of those correct. Now I have to find the speed when it is... 10 meters off the ground correct to two decimal places. Now what does this mean? It means that, uh, let's, how do we put it this way, if this is our XY plane and the particles after going up like this and say here, or say we're drawing height above ground versus time and this here is 10 meters then the particle will be at 10 meters twice one of them is 3.7 seconds and one is 0 0.5 so this is, we'll say, call this T2 this one T1, so this is T2, and this is T1. Alright, so of course that would give us two different, uh, is it speeds? Find its speed. So which one did it go for in the book? It went for 0 0.546. That's just the one I'm going to go for, 0 0.5. Or did it go for both? Let me just have a look here. Yeah, I did both. To be honest, I'm only going to do one. I'm just going to do T1. So I want to get the speed when it's at, uh, at 0 0.5 seconds. So I'm going to say this is 0 0.5. This is 0 0.5. So as a result, the uh, this here is this here is unchanged. However, uh, uh, v sub y is equal to 21 minus 4 point, uh, not 4.9, excuse me, minus 9.8 times 0 0.5 and that's equal to uh, 21 minus 4.9 that's equal to 16.1, so we'll just say 16 therefore V is equal to 28 I hat uh, plus 16 J hat meters per second, let's just check that Yeah, that's correct. So let's just get the magnitude of this. So v squared, the magnitude of v is equal to square root 28 squared plus 16 squared, and that's going to be equal to 32 meters per second. All right. So the the second part using the other time is the exact same. So I'll leave that for you to do. Uh, thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.